Hey guys, Chief Fossil Boy here, and today I will be reviewing the Transformers Takara Masterpiece Road Rage. So, uh, first off the bat, you guys may realize, uh, the more astute of you may realize that I have a different background. So, this one's a bit lighter. I took the black one, the big black one, and I'm using it as a background so I can do face cams on game, on gameplays. And I replace it with a smaller one, so that's all good. Um, and second, this figure, I ordered it off eBay. It's missing two pieces, so twin caster, which I will explain in a second, and a grill nozzle that's a gun that you just clip in there and it comes out and it shoots stuff. So it's missing those two things. I tried to get them, tried to refund this and to get my money back, but no, they just super uncooperative and will not let me do it. So, yeah, those are the two things that I just need to notify you. But now let's get on to the packaging. Here we have Transformers Masterpiece um, Road Rage, Transformers Masterpiece, Takara Tomy, Road Rage MP26, Cybertron Ground and Air Combatant, Corvette Stingray C3. Wow, that's a mouthful. That's what she said. Transformers Masterpiece Shiny. On the side we have Transformers Masterpiece Corvette Stingray C3. And on this side we have Robot Mode. On this side we have stuff written in Japanese. And on the back we have um, all product shots and stuff that it can do. Take off that to the side. It does come with two sets of instructions. Yes, two. One is in Japanese and one is in English. So I think that's an amazing help how they included an English set of instructions. So you can actually read the bio. Um, I'd show you it, but you probably can't see because it's really bad focus quality. Um, if you want, I'll read it to you. I'll make a video to read it to you. It's kind of boring. A whole video just reading the text specs. Uh, Corvette Stingray. Uh, uh, pro uh, stuff that's included. Uh, product shots. On the back, you can actually read the instructions this time. Yeah, okay. Get out of here. And we have the car collector's card. So... Uh, the collector's cards are now going more for an awesome look with explosions and their vehicle mode there. It's uh, just the product shot of that figure. So I think it's a lot better. So, take that off. And she comes with her plasma discharger. With two types of handles. One small one to hold in the hand. And one longer one, which I'll show you later. Okay. So now, on to the figure herself. Here we have... Road Rage, and she is a fantastic figure in her car mode. I really, really love her rims. Got beautiful rims all over. Just beautiful, beautiful detail. Nice flamage on the front. Looks like something from Hot Rod. Um, so she is an almost exact remake, re uh, replica of Trax. I'm not. I'm pretty sure Trax came out first, but they have the. Ex they almost have the exact same things like. Twin caster, this guy has twin blast, twin, twin, bleh, twin caster, and this guy, and um, Trax also comes with blaster. So, they're both tiny radios, so, and they go into the um, robot mode. So, yeah, it's a fantastic car. I love it so much. It's got nice paint apps on the back. Um... Not a whole lot of molded detail. It looks super duper sleek all over. Really nice. Really nuts. On the bottom, you don't have a lot of um, robot showing. Actually, it's really fantastically disclosed. So, that's the feet. Those are the shins. That's the pelvis. And those are the wings. And in there, those white spots are the hands. But yeah, otherwise, it's great. Um... Yeah, that's uh, disguised parts of the hands back there. Looks like you could put a number plate there if you would want to. On the back you have a logo for Corvette. And if you look in, you just see her head. So she has a bit of visible head syndrome, but not much else. And you can flip up the bonnet. My bonnet has a problem. It will not stay down. Um, there should be a peg in there or something, but... You can open up the bonnet and it has some nice chromed out silvery paint apps in there. You have the shins, you have the legs. But yeah, that's pretty cool. Alright, so, now this, this figure has three modes. Car mode, flying car mode, and robot mode. So I'm going to do flying car mode first. So what you want to do is you want to untap this 
back section and bring it back and bring the wings out like this like so then you want to bring these feet out these arms I mean like that you want to extend them all the way and then swivel these parts around then there's a tab there that goes into a slot there just like that and, but first you want to be able to here if you saw that came out a little bit bring accordion this down and tab it in just like that do the same on this side bring it out bring it down rotate down tab it in just like that sort of never gotten it all to hold together yet just like that and now you want to come back um, over here and you want to push down these parts right there and they will reveal the fins which you push up and then you want to bring the wings out so the diagonal side is facing down and you want to flip this part out and bring the rockets out and then want to make sure that this part is flush with that again and then fold this back in and it should all tab into place nicely if you've done it correctly okay like that and you want to bring the wings out like that and these missiles come out and around down come out and around down like that so they're facing forward and here you have flying car mode which I think is pretty cool um, you know how uh, some figures include uh, weapons or accessories that were only used in like one episode this whole figure is like one of them this figure was not a full Autobot she is more like a bounty hunter who will fight for the Autobots if she's paid I I'm pretty sure she is hired to cut down Twin Blaster Okay, I've got no excuse. I better just start explaining. So I'm just going to sit down because this is going to take a little while. So, this is the origin of Twin Blaster. Twin Bla Blaster, who was originally Twin Blaster, uh, went looking for one of his cassette tapes, which turned Decepticon. And when he went, he ended up converting over to the Decepticon side, getting a repaint. Sorry, it's really hot here, so my camera just cut out and died. But as I was saying, he got a repaint, and they, the Autobots, sent uh, Road Rage to chase him down and catch him. So she comes with a small twin blaster in uh, because he's still a, he's still a radio, uh, um, and. It's really small radio because, as you know, the Transformers, when they transform, some of them get really small. So, uh, and she's put him in a transformation lock. And you can store him right in here. There's a tab right in there. It should be just at the tip of my finger. You won't be able to see it with much detail, but it's in there. And it kind of just faces up against the wind, against here and um, it's just put in there to look cool and she can hold it in her hand facing down so so Trax comes with a blaster instead of a twin of a twin caster but this mode oh, bump the camera bump the camera what an idiot this mode is very very cool I very like very much like it but I, I've never been able to master it. This is the first time I've ever gotten it perfect, which is amazing. Usually nothing works for me on camera, but this is great. On the bottom, it does leave a massive gap, so but that's all right. And this is where this part comes in. Uh, yeah, there it goes. Um, so it has a small round peg on there and a round socket there. And you get the longer, the longer handle, and you just tap it there. 
and there you have her flying around with a gun and you can face it down like that so she flies over just dropping stuff but there you have that and the missiles here are pretty cool kinda hard to see he just flies along which I really really do like and she can roll kind of because uh, if you flip the missiles back in uh, she can roll alright because all she's rolling on is these very smooth um, wings and her wheels so yeah she's she's pretty good at rolling now even with just one set of wheels but yes there we have that now for comparison I should have done it when it was car mode but actually no I have an idea we'll transform her from car mode to robot mode so we'll just put her back into car mode this is a somewhat difficult transformation you wanna undo this it's kinda of involved you wanna just push the missiles back in so they're like right there you can see them the blues right there up against the back you wanna flip these back in uh, okay so you wanna untab the arm and bring it up and then watch there you wanna push it in bring it down swivel this 180 you wanna bring it up on that hinge and that hinge and it will go right there make sure this flat part here is flush and facing upright there do the same on this side push it in bring it up swivel 180 bring it there bring it there you can I'm bumping the camera all over the place you can untap take this off which is just connected by a mushroom peg there and it makes the transformations a whole lot easier but just bring it in and these two arms tap together just like that and then you wanna put the back part on by use of the oh my god by use of the mushroom peg all right. There we have that, and you just want to face, turn these around, and face them outwards, and bring them, bring this whole section down, fold it, make sure these parts are pushed in all the way, fold them around, and fold them down because there is tabs on the wings and slots in the car. But there we have that. Now, for comparison, here we have her with Sideswipe. If you want to see that. Bit bigger and a lot thinner. Take him off. Here she is with Prowl. Right there, about the same size and about the same width. There for that. Here she is with Bumblebee. See how she scales with Bumble. A lot bigger. About the same width. Here she is with Wheeljack. Again, like side swipe, bit longer, definitely thinner. Here she is with Ironhide. Uh, about the same width and height. I'm gonna put on height. Nice height. Him. Here she is with MP10 Optimus Prime. The Prime. A lot thinner in width and a lot smaller. Taking him off. All right, and. If we grab in Optimus Prime's trailer and we open up the back, 
just like that. Bring this down. She can, she can't drive in because it just gets caught, but she can fit into MP10's trailer. Although she does roll around in there a bit. But she can fit in there perfectly and get serviced by the drone. We're taking her out and getting rid of the trailer. There you have that. Okay, so bringing her back on. Um, now we shall get down to transformation. So, I like to take the uh, front, the back off first. So they just want to bring the wings down and bring this back and they just slide it off the mushroom peg. This is a very involved transformation. So, if you want to skip it, um, I may put a time code, but if I'm lazy and forget, which is very likely, because I feel like I've missed, I feel like I missed something on the Ironhide review, but I just can't think of it, and I don't want to watch my own video because YouTubers hate watching their own videos. Um, so if anyone remember, please comment, um, tell me what I missed, and I might be able to do a re-upload. But uh, you want to come down here, bring this part up, and then flick out her head. Like that, and then you wanna, like Bumblebee, just bring out the Autobot symbol. Now you wanna bring out the arms, and much the same, just bring it out a bit, and then you wanna fold them up. And then, there are two, two slots right there, and two tabs there. They just go up and fold into each other, just like, um, tab into each other. Then you wanna extend the arms, rotate them so the red part's facing forward for um, have the the vent thing facing out and it'll just fall along and fill up that gap and there you have a hand do the same with this side fold it out and rotate just gotta fill up the camera up a bit so I can see and there you have two arms she kind of looks dorky without the backpack so this is one of the times where a backpack actually makes her look a bit better. I am very sorry, my camera overheated again. I would do something about it, but my fan's on three, and I asked if we have a little stool pedestal fan, but no, we do not have it. Hi. Hi. Um, yeah, I have a light directly behind me, so it's kind of silhouetting me right onto the uh, background but as I was saying one of the few times a backpack makes this figure look better now you want to untab this and fold this part out and there's a slot there and a tab there that just folds in there do the same here don't worry about these um, uh, these mirrors they are engineered very well to not even touch well, they touch, but it's very light brush. Now you want to swivel at the waist, and you want to uh, bring out the leg like that, and you want to hold the leg, and the foot, and bring it out like that. Uh, before you do that, you actually want to split the legs, which is obvious, because that's what you always do. Just come around to the back, bring them down, which is the bonnet, which has been split, like that. And then you want to fold this um, top bottom part of the front out um, around just a small way. And you want to rotate this, rotate it again, and then fold that up like that. And then you want to rotate this full all the way to the side. Then you want to bring the leg in and then just push it down. And there you have a foot all done. Do the same to this side. Untap that, bring it down, bring this up and around, and then form the shin, and then bring that around, bring the foot down, and then you're looking at my, don't do, don't, don't look at them. And there you have two legs done. Okay, so you have the figure basically done, but as you see, she looks kind of dorky, 
and very weird without the backpack. Well, in my opinion, she does, because I've had it for a long time. I'm just very late on the review. You want to bring the uh, wings out like that. And you want to bring this missile contraption all the way up. Bring the lights, the tail lights up like that. And then you want to fold them out to the side. Like so. Then you want to bring this connection out. This part. And just before I do anything, there is a slot right there. And this tab... Tabs on each side, slot, I'm tabbing to two slots there, so I don't have to show you, I can just go straight through. Like that. Tab, tab. And here we have the Transformers Masterpiece Rotor Rage. I haven't seen the episodes or episode with her in it, which is very unfortunate. I would very much like to see it. Um... Because she is a coolish figure. I'm just this all coming undone. It's not the most sturdiest or solid figure I've ever seen in my life or felt. You've got to be very gentle. Um, yep, there we go. So here we have the Transformers Masterpiece uh, Road Rage. And she looks real good. She's really nice. She's got nice blue painted eyes and a silver face. All around great, great figure. Coming down, a lot of detail, a lot of molded detail. And there isn't much kibble. But um, this is supposed to be um, a car, so they can't really eliminate all of it. And for you guys who are unfamiliar with the collector's, uh, ow, uh, with the collector's term kibble, it means in, d in, uh, I will get a, um, get a example. Kibble in vehicle mode means that you can clearly see the arms and the legs, arms and legs and the pelvis. It is very clearly seen, the head in there is kibble, um, you see the hands, like this figure, which is Prow, very low amount of kibble, they've he heated it very well, um, like Sideswipe and Ironhide, um, but there are figures where they just stuffed up totally and they are see-through as heck. Optimus Prime, he's got the grill there, but that's okay. Um, Kibble in robot mode means that you can clearly see that there's a massive piece of car there. Um, wheels and car sides and and uh, um, front cabin thing there. Uh, wheels. Uh, that is very unavoidable. This is a toy. Can't get it 100% perfect. But there we have that. So, now for articulation. This is going to be very weird. So, um... The backpack can move in and out while staying on the tabs. Not too much. Uh, wings have a bit of movement out in, up and down. Head has can look all the way down and then almost full, fold up. Has full 360 and is in, on a ball joint. So you got a bit of wiggly waggly mo movement. He, um, arms could do a 360 but are limited by the art by the wing. Um, you have a transformation joint there, but you can use it. Swivel, out and in movement. You have a double hinge, but that's for... You have a hinge here, but that's for transformation. You have an elbow, you have a swivel, you have a swivel at the arm. And um, all fingers are jointed like all the smaller masterpiece figures. You have a full 360 waist swivel. You have arm, um, legs can go out of the way. This little skirt piece will move forward to accommodate. And it goes back that far. Beautiful spread. Has nice knee joint. Goes forward that much. Back that far. 
and has a nice ankle tilt, can move forward and back, but more for transformation. And just put it back together again. As I said, it doesn't hold together too well. One of my minor nitpicks for this figure. Okay, so the gun uh, is a lot different than the normal masterpiece style guns. It does not have tabs on the... Better stay up. Does not have tabs on the side of the handle, but there is a... See that small tab there? Well, the back of this gun, back of the handle, there is a special uh, tab that goes straight into that slot and it holds, she holds it very, very nicely. Um, yeah, so that's really, really good. Um, on the back, uh, Trax comes with a flat stand. It's just so unfortunate that this figure didn't and you plug it into the butt there or in uh, uh, flying car mode, you can plug it into the bottom where the gun goes or you can plug it on top of the gun so she can have the gun and also be on a flat stand. So I think that is very smart, very good job on their part. But yeah, there you have that. Okay, now for comparison, here we have Road Rage with Masterpiece Ironhide. So you have a sense of scale. Here you have her uh, with Sideswipe, Lambo, so a bit taller. Here we have her uh, with Brow, again a bit taller. Wheeljack and Bumblebee. So you have that. And here we have her with MP10 Optimus Prime to get a sense of scale there. Okay. So that is the review for MP. MP26 Rotor Age. Hope you guys enjoyed. Um, I would say I would probably rate this figure about a six or seven out of ten. If you haven't seen this pick, if you haven't seen this figure in the episodes, you don't really want to get up. You want to get one of the actual main Autobots you usually see, like Prowl or Smokescreen or um, maybe Thundercracker or Optimus Prime, one of the one of the Transformers that you see a lot in the episode. Is that you don't want to get not really Tracks or Road Rage because you don't see them too often in the actual episode. You want to get m some of the main Autobots like Ironhide and stuff like that because yeah. And for the price, I got it for a hundred dollars and probably not worth it. But Anyway, if you want to collect them all, you collect them all. It doesn't matter what you're getting, just as long as you want to collect them all. It's alright, but if you just want to get a few just to play around with, um, I would suggest maybe not this one. I certainly wouldn't get it with my own money. I don't want to sound rude, but um, a present is alright, but I, don't, I didn't really want to use my own money on it. So yeah, um, this is the review. Hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye. One more thing before you guys go, I have MP17 Masterpiece Prowl in my possession, but as you guys know, if you've seen my video, he is a bit broken. See here, um, his arms actually snapped, um, and he's got scuff marks all over him. Uh, I was wondering, do you guys want me to do a review on this? Um, the, f the review will be limited to what I have here. It will not be for what you guys will get if you get um, a new, uh, new and fixed version. Do you guys want me to do like a half ass review of this figure? It won't be the best. But um, if you guys want me to do it, I will do it. If not, then it's alright. I will wait till I get a new figure. Thundercracker is supposed to arrive on the 16th of January. 
he he has he hasn't been shipped yet so it's going to be a very tight it's going to be um a very close shave if he does come so yeah this figure's awesome he's been he would be even more awesome if he was fixed um so if you guys want me to uh, review him i will do so happily but um i will warn you that it will not be the normal review, um, it'll be limited to the broken arm and the scuff marks on him. I know he's usually very good, but, um, yeah, I just don't want to do, uh, bad second-rate videos for you guys. Uh, I'm trying my best, so, if you guys want me to do that, then I will. If you don't, then it's alright, I'll probably do a gameplay. So, yeah, thank you. See ya. <laughs>